All right, people, we are back out here in the middle of a creek. And the water isn't too high, relatively speaking, today. So I figure it's a perfect day to walk through here and make a little video. Yes, it is. So, the thing that I wanted to talk about is how me having dreams or visions that I wanted to bring to life a lot of times landed me into trouble. And I've seen this pattern with other people as well. So let's start off with an example from my childhood, okay? And you're not going to see how this connects necessarily right away, but just stick with me for a little bit. When I was a kid, I was really into art. I was constantly painting, drawing, doing a bunch of stuff like that. All right? But slowly but surely, as I aged, became a teenager, I just quit doing it. And I've known for a long time that the reason why I quit doing it is because the vision I had in my head, the ideal, I could never actually bring that into reality. So I just didn't. Just gave up. But later on, when I started doing music stuff, well, I had been doing music stuff, but when I got serious about it, as an adult, and as a teenager, I still released music. I still made it. And I still had my vision, okay? But I realized that I would never be able to actually fully bring my vision into reality, no matter what I did. But, instead of doing like I did with art, I kept going. I released my music anyway. I made my music anyway. Just with the recognition that the vision I had would never fully come to fruition. And that was a much better way of doing things. Hmm? Because I still put something out there. I was still productive. But what I actually did was gave up on that vision I had. I gave up on the dream I had in my head. <laughs> and that was good for me. And there is a broader lesson and a broader way to apply this and look at it, okay? So I've seen people, myself included, who have an ideal for, say, a partner in a relationship. And a lot of the girls that I've talked to or gone out with, in the past anyway, if they didn't live up to that ideal, I held them to a very high standard, which wasn't really fair to them. And I've seen a lot of other people do the same thing and make the same mistakes that I have. But the best thing to do is to give up on your dreams. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Now, you can still say, I want this and that in a partner or in a job situation or in a vision for your life, whatever. But in giving up your dream and giving up the precise vision and knowing that it will never fully come into being in physical reality because mental constructs and physical reality are two different things. You will still be able to have something great. You'll still be able to have something healthy. You'll still be able to create something of worth and of note. So that's, that's basically the lesson. Give up on your dream ever being real, but still strive for it. There's the paradox, friends. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. I'm hitting a deep patch, kind of. So I'm going to call it quits for this little video and just keep walking. Love and gratitude. Done.